Hello friends, unlike snails that are harmful to plants, snails are being cultivated in many countries around the world. They are used to make cosmetics and processed into famous dishes that are many people in love with. So how are millions of snails grown and harvested? Let's find out with Mouse Farm through this whole entire video together right now. Snails are a species with a lifespan of about two to five years. There are species that live in a safe and well-developed environment and have a lifespan of up to 20 years. They will be completely cared for in a closed farm. Here, the farm will be created from wooden farming boxes and provide food for them. This reptile is very sensitive, so caregivers will not come close and have direct contact with them. When snails reach the age of six months to one year old, they will begin to lay eggs during spring and summer. The temperature and farming area will begin to be more carefully taken care of. Humidity is increased so that the snails can begin the reproductive process. They often lay eggs at night on moist soil provided by the farm. Each egg cluster will have about 10 to 100 eggs. Snail eggs will be harvested again and transferred to small boxes to be moved to the incubation area. Newly born snails' eggs are very soft and slippery. When harvesting, you need to be gentle and careful so that the eggs do not split, affecting the baby snails when they hatch. This is the egg incubation area on the farm. These egg boxes are about two to three weeks old. Now all the baby snails have hatched and moved to other areas in the box to feed. Newly hatched baby snails are about 0.08 to 0.12 inches in size, equivalent to a small grain of rice. When harvesting them, be careful not to break their shell. The baby snails will be raised in the greenhouse until they reach a large size, and then they will be moved outside for cultivation. Boxes of hatched baby snails will be brought to the farming area. This area will be watered regularly to maintain humidity in plants as they will always grow to provide food for the baby snails. So how did this whole snail farming thing start? While the baby snails are growing, we will take you to the outside area to see how the farmers build snail farms. The cultivator will winch the soil of this field area. This machine combines both loosening the soil and sowing vegetable seeds to shorten planting time in the field. The water supply system operates continuously to provide water to the whole entire area. Supporting the growth of green vegetables, the field will be divided into areas by dividing trees. Each snail farming area is surrounded by a barrier that is formed. At this time, the snail seeds will be divided equally into farming areas. This vegetable will be their food. Once they have settled into their habitat, providing additional wood panels becomes an important part of snail care. The wooden panels not only act as a safe shelter, but also retain water, creating an ideal moist environment for snails.
in particular, with snails mainly moving and living under wooden boards. The process of harvesting them becomes much, much easier. When they reach the size of 3 to 5 centimeters, they will be harvested. These outdoor farms simply flip over the wooden boards to harvest them. On average, 220 pounds to 440 pounds of snails can be harvested per day for small farms. Data has been recorded that at a large snail farm, up to 2,204 pounds of fruit can be harvested in a day. This is quite an impressive number. The price is about $1,000 to $4,000. If you want to own such a farm like that, tell me about it down below in the comment section. Snail mucus is very difficult to harvest if you are unskilled and uneducated about this issue. This work is researched and done manually to harvest the best mucus. Just use a specialized tool to harvest the mucus around their tongues. This job looks simple, but it is quite complicated. After being harvested, the mucus will be processed into rare cosmetics that are sought after by many people. These products are very rare on the market. So if you are, or if you has these products, use them. As this cosmetic has many nutrients that helps moisturizing the skin, smooth it and rejuvenate it. In addition, snails are also used to make expensive dishes. They're used to prepare dishes in luxury restaurants. Each dish costs a few hundreds of dollars. Have you ever eaten these dishes before? In Spain, traditional festivals are held every year in the Valencia region. This festival is an opportunity for Spanish people and tourists to enjoy the deliciousness of these dishes that are made from snails while participating in cultural and entertainment activities. The Spanish Snail Festival is often held in spring when the weather is warm and favorable for organizing outdoor activities. The people here will demonstrate cooking special snail dishes with unique flavors. Tourists will be able to view and enjoy themselves at the sales counter of this area. If you want to participate in this festival, go to Spain in March. The festival in Tarragona is usually held in April. The snail festival in Albacete City is usually held in May. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications bell so you never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Agriculture in the Middle East has undergone a significant development in recent years, clearly demonstrating innovation and application of advanced technology. A prime example of progress in Middle Eastern agriculture is the first fish farm in the desert, located in the city of Sharjah, United Arab Emirates, UAE. This farm is large with an area of 400 hectares and is equipped with advanced technologies to produce fish in the harsh desert environment. A series of groundbreaking technologies are applied at this farm to create an effective fish farming environment. 
drip irrigation systems have helped save water and fertilizer, contributing to the protection of resources and the environment. The temperature control system helps maintaining a stable water temperature, creating an ideal condition for fish growth. Wastewater treatment systems are also used to reuse wastewater, ensuring sustainable use of resources. The fish farm has achieved impressive achievements with the ability to produce up to 10,000 tons of fish per year. Fish products from this farm are supplied to restaurants and supermarkets in the UAE, helping to provide a reliable food source. The benefits of the desert's first fish farm are not limited to the local level. This farm has made a positive impact on agriculture and environment in the Middle East and could be widely applied in other arid regions of the world. First of all, this farm has created a stable food source, contributing to increase food production in the region. It helps reduce dependence on food imports, a key issue in the Middle East, one of the world's largest food importing regions. This farm also plays an important role in creating jobs for local people, helping to improve quality of life and reduce pressure on job creation. Finally, the use of advanced technologies to save water and fertilizers at this farm has contributed to environmental protection. The Desert Fish Farm is a prime example of the fusion of agriculture and advanced technology, opening up opportunities for sustainable development in an arid landscape. This shows that the agriculture can progress and benefit not only from farmers, but also society and the environment as a whole. Based on research and data on fish consumption in the Middle East region, we can see a significant increase in fish consumption demand in recent decades. This is caused by a combination of economic factors, changing the lifestyle and the growth of the marine food industry. One of the main factors is economic growth in the Middle East region. People here have increasingly higher incomes, allowing them to spend more money on high-end food products, including fish, Expensive fish such as salmon and tuna are becoming more popular in daily meals. Lifestyle changes are another important factor. People in the Middle East are increasingly focusing on healthy, nutritious eating. Fish is considered a nutritious and healthy food source, which is driving growth in fish consumption. The rise of luxury in diverse seafood restaurants has also contributed significantly to the increase in fish consumption in the region. These restaurants offer a variety of fresh fish and serve delicious dishes, making fish more accessible to locals.
while an increase in fish consumption has many benefits, such as providing nutrition and business opportunities for the marine food industry, measures need to be maintained to protect fish resources and ensure food safety for consumers. Research related to fish resources management and quality control of marine food products is increasingly important to ensure the sustainability of future fish supplies. Nippon Sezen Keisha, a leading company in the seafood industry, operates a highly sophisticated fish processing plant located in Bandar Abbas, Iran. Positioned strategically in the heart of Bandar Abbas, this facility is distinguished by its substantial animal processing capacity, capable of handling an impressive 20,000 tons of fish. Modern fish processing plants in the Middle East are characterized by their utilization of advanced technology and cutting-edge machines, underscoring their unwavering commitment to both food safety and quality assurance. Furthermore, these facilities are engineered with a strong emphasis on an environmental sustainability, exemplified by their dedication to minimizing the ecological impact of their operations. Automation has revolutionized the landscape of modern fish processing plants in the Middle East, bringing about remarkable improvements at efficiency, quality, and environmental responsibility. These advancements have propelled these facilities to the forefront of the industry. Quality control in these facilities is second to none. They have adopted cutting-edge quality control systems that leave no room for compromising. Automated sensors and cameras, along with meticulous inspection protocols, are the cornerstones of this quality assurance process. The result is that only the most superior fish products make their way to consumers. This stringent approach not only ensures that consumers receive the best possible products, but also safeguards the reputation of the facilities. The modern fish processing plants in the Middle East are undeniably transformative in the realm of fish production. They play a pivotal role in augmenting the region's overall fish production and elevating the standards of fish products. Their unwavering dedication to sustainability and their relentless pursuit of technological advancements effectively address the growing demand for fish within the Middle Eastern market. As these plants continue to evolve and pioneer new innovations, their contributions extend beyond food security, also encompassing the preservation of the natural environment within the region. The development of the fisheries industry isn't only in countries with stable climates. The fish farming industry in the desert has marked a major development step in the world. And for now, let's go to another area to see some more livestock industries. The sheep disinfection bath cart is a type of mobile equipment that plays an important role in health maintenance and disease management in the sheep industry.
The structure of the disinfection bath cart for sheep is divided into two important parts, the cart part and the disinfection bath part. The vehicle part, usually made from steel or aluminum, creates a solid foundation for the entire device. The disinfection bath, usually made from plastic or stainless steel, is where the disinfection process takes place. There are varieties of different disinfectants used in this vehicle, including chlorine, iodine, quaternary ammonium compounds, all of which can effectively control bacteria and viruses, ensuring the health of sheep. Disinfection bath carts from sheep not only helps controlling diseases, but also improves the health of sheep flocks and increases productivity in the livestock industry. Improving the sheep's health means reducing infectious diseases while also helping to increase production efficiency. Initial costs and investments maintains requirements for both to be significant, especially for small-scale sheep farms. This requires technical and financial attention to use disinfectant and shower carts effectively. In the United States, the management and use of disinfectant bath carts for sheep must comply with regulations set forth by the Food and Drug Administration, referred to as the FDA. Monitoring the health status of sheep is an important part and an indispensable process in the animal husbandry industry, and weighing plays a paramount role in ensuring the efficient development and production of sheep flocks. Monitoring sheep weight can help farmers detect early health problems such as malnutrition, overweight or illnesses that sheep may be facing. This helps farmers intervene promptly to ensure good health for sheep and prevent decline in production performance. This inspection system helps farmers save time and effort, providing accurate and quick information. There is no need to weigh each sheep individually. Just let the sheep go through the system to know their weight. This helps optimizing labor productivity and more effectively managing livestock farms. In addition, farmers need to choose the type of system appropriate to the scale and needs of the farm, along with regular maintenance to ensure effective operation and no errors in the process of monitoring the animal weight. This cow milking machine represents a significant advance in modern agriculture, and that its value cannot be underestimated. With the ability to provide large amounts of milk to calves and the ability to move and transport large volumes of milk on the farm, this milk through the system brings significant efficiency and time saving to cow farmers. In particular, the milk through system ensures that the calves are provided with an equal amount of milk, helping them grow healthily. The important thing is that the usage process is simple. Just mix the milk into the bottles and use machines to bring the milk bottle system into the farms. The support system for lifting dairy cows 
to trim their hooves plays an important role in effective management and care of dairy cows. Some of these significant benefits of both systems are increased productivity, reduced risk and improved quality of manicures. Increasing labor productivity is an undeniable value. The dairy cow lifting support system ensures that the hoof trimming process is performed more quickly and effectively. This not only saves farmers time, but also creates favorable conditions for dairy cows. Risk mitigation is another important value. Using hoof trimming support systems and dairy cow lifting machinery helps minimizing the risk of accidents, protecting both cows and farmers. Unwanted effects may occur when trimming cows hooves with this support of machines, this risk is significantly limited. In addition, increasing the quality of manicures is another important advantage of this system. This system and machinery ensures that the cows or dairy cows hooves are trimmed properly, avoiding pain to the animals. This is beneficial for the health and comfort of dairy cows while also reducing the farmer's feeling of stress. The initial investment cost is quite high and requires maintenance to ensure the efficient operation. Modern cow milking systems brings many great benefits to the dairy industry and a social community. First of all, it significantly enhances labor productivity, helping farmers milk more quickly and effectively. This automation process reduces time and labor, creating favorable conditions for workers in the industry, helping them focusing on the other aspects of dairy cow management and care. Modern cow milking machines also ensures outstanding milk quality. The gentle and precise milking process avoids damaging to the cow's udder while minimizing milk contamination, ensuring cow's milk meets high standards of quality and food safety. This is especially important in ensuring safe and reliable milk supply for all consumers. This system also helps reducing the risk of accidents for both cows and farmers. Integrating technology and automation, milking machines reduce the risk of injury to cows, reduce human impact and improve working conditions. This contributes to creating a safe environment and reduces negative impacts on people involved in dairy cow care. Finally, modern cow milking systems are also environmentally friendly, using energy more efficiently and reducing waste. Milking machines help reduce environmental impact while reducing resource consumption. This is important in a context where the environment is increasingly concerned and protected. The use of livestock support machinery is being put into use by many farms. These farms are performing very well and making great profits from this machinery system. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. 
So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through, as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.